What you're currently seeing on screen, I created with Sora 2 in just a few minutes. Homemade anime is about to be the biggest trend the internet has ever seen, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in five simple steps. We're about to cover everything from seamlessly generating your images to even getting consistent voices with your characters. Kaito! Still standing, huh? Let's get started. All right, so here's the deal. We're creating a 30-second anime scene with two rivals facing off across a moonlit river in the forest. One controls fire, the other controls lightning. And their faces, styles, and everything is going to stay consistent across multiple scenes. Step one is to generate your character images. First things first, we need to create our two characters. I'm calling one Kaido, who's our fire user, and Ren, who controls lightning. We're going to be doing all of this in open art, so if you want to follow along, click the link in the description to sign up and try this for yourself. In open art, you can access all AI generation models you can think of in just a single subscription. This is one of my favorite platforms to work on, and it will definitely take you one step closer to mastering AI. Now, for the image model, you're going to select Nano Banana. This is Google's image model, and it's incredible for character consistency. You could also use Seedream 4.0, but I prefer Nano Banana for anime-style characters. All right, so let's generate Kaido first. In the prompt box, copy my exact prompt. I prompted a teenage anime character with spiky black hair, red highlights, wearing a red and black jacket, flames around his hands, and standing confidently. Now scroll down to the settings. Make sure your aspect ratio is set to one by one for now. We want square images for the collage we're about to make. Then hit generate. Give it a few seconds, and there is Kaido. This is gonna be our fire user. Now let's create Ren. I prompted a teenage anime character again, this time with male short silver white hair, wearing a blue vest and lightning crackling around his fists. Do the same settings, one to one aspect ratio, and hit generate. Perfect. Now we've got both Ren and Kaido. Go ahead and download both of these images because we're about to use them. Step two is to create your character collage. Here's where the magic happens. This is the key to keeping your characters consistent across every single scene. We're going to create a reference collage that combines both characters into one image. This tells Sora to, hey, these are the two characters I want you to remember and keep consistent. Now, you can do this in Canva, Photoshop, or even right inside OpenArt's editor, but I'm gonna walk you through the simplest way using Canva. So head over to Canva and create a custom size Canva. Canvas. Go with 1920 by 1080, so it's nice and wide. This will also determine the aspect ratio of our Sora 2 result. Now upload both character images you just generated. Drag Kato onto the left side of the canvas and drag Ren onto the right side. Make sure they're both clearly visible, roughly the same size, and that there's a little space between them. This is your character reference collage. Download this as a PNG. Name it something like character reference so you remember exactly what it is. This single image is going to be the foundation of everything we're about to create. Okay, now to step three, which is generating your first scene with timeline prompting. This is where we get into the actual video generation. So go back to open art, and this time click on video here on the left side. For the video model, select Sora 2. And make sure you're using the pro version if you have access to it, because the quality difference is 100% noticeable. Although fast is also pretty good for cheaper and quicker testing. Now upload that character reference collage we just made. This is crucial because Sora 2 is going to look at this collage and know exactly Exactly what Kaido and Ren are supposed to look like. Now here's where timeline prompting comes in. Instead of just saying two rivals fight, we're going to break down exactly what happens in each moment. This is the prompt for the first scene, where I tell Sora the specific timestamp I want things to happen in. I start off with this river scene where Kaido and Ren come across each other right before they start fighting. And I have all sort of angles like a wide cinematic shot, medium shot focusing on the left riverbank and Kaido, then cut to the right side with Ren while adding details like blue electricity crackles around his hands to make it more cinematic, as well as the camera pulls back to a wide shot showing both rivals locked in a tense standoff across the moonlit river. The fire and lightning energy intensifies, lighting up the mist between them. High quality animation, cinematic camera movement. This is all really important to help Sora with creativity, so make sure your prompts are like this and not just simple and bland. Lastly, I give it a few more general details like shonen anime art style, cinematic camera movement, dramatic lighting, high quality animation. Now for the settings. Set your duration to 12 seconds and hit create. This is going to take a couple of minutes because we're on Sora 2 Pro, so just be patient. And there it is.
both characters look exactly like our reference images. The environment is perfect. That's scene one, so now go ahead and download this video. Step four is generating additional scenes to complete your sequence. One scene is cool, but we're making a full anime sequence here. Let's go crazy and add two more scenes, because this is what's gonna separate you from everyone else making these movies. But here's the trick to keeping everything consistent. Play back that first video you just generated and pause it at a moment where you can clearly see both Kato and Ren's faces, and then take a screenshot of each. Now open that screenshot in Canva or any editing tool, crop out Kaido's face and Ren's face separately, then put them side by side in a new collage, just like we did before. This updated collage now has exactly how Sora 2 rendered their faces in the first scene. So when we generate scene two, it's gonna match perfectly. Go ahead and navigate back to open art video and upload this new collage as your reference image. Now paste this timeline prompt for scene two. Once again, I'm doing the same style timeline prompting, describing every single detail down to the last second. Extreme close-up of Kaido, heavy breathing, cut to extreme close-up of Ren, blue lighting sparks violently, montage of quick cuts back and forth between their faces accelerating in speed as tension builds, both are preparing to move, zoom out to a wide shot and then a big explosion, and of course lastly, the general style details. Set it to 12 seconds and hit create, and boom. <sighs> Scene 2 is done just like that. Go ahead and download it. Now, let's do the final scene. It's gonna be the same process, so take a screenshot from Scene 2, update your collage if needed, and upload it. Here's the prompt for Scene 3. Wide action shot. Both rivals explode forward from opposite sides of the screen. Kato, on the left, is propelled by a blazing fire aura. Ren, on the right, is wrapped in crackling blue lightning. They rush toward the center at high speed. Extreme slow motion close-up, they meet in the middle directly above the river. Their fists collide, creating a distortion in the air as fire and light lightning mesh in a chaotic, blinding struggle. Massive spherical explosion of red fire and blue lightning energy detonates from the impact point, expanding outward and violently illuminating the entire dark forest and river mist. Wide shot pulling back through the clearing smoke. Both rivals skid backwards, landing on their opposite riverbanks. They crouch and immediately look up, staring each other down through the fading energy particles. Generate that at 12 seconds once again. Kaito! Still standing, huh? Good. Makes it interesting. Just like that, you've got three connected scenes that tell a complete story. Same characters, same style, and perfectly consistent. As a final step to take consistency to the next level, you can use Eleven Lab's voice changer to switch out the voices in your videos. Although, I will not be using it for this one since it looks like Sora 2 has already done a good job at keeping them consistent. You can also find a link for Eleven Labs in the description to try it out. And there you have it! You just created a fully consistent anime sequence from scratch using Sora 2. To be honest, what makes these so easy for me to create is the fact that I have any tool I could possibly need at my disposal with OpenArt. Instead of having to pay a subscription every single month for every single tool, I have it all in one place, not only making it cheaper, but also way more efficient. So if you weren't following along in this video, I suggest you go try OpenArt out, because it makes the whole entire process so much easier. I put the link in the description for you if you want to give it a go, and I'll see you in the next video.